I'm proud of being a part of Harupa Valley because I get to experience people from all walks of life and backgrounds. And my children and grandchildren are growing up in the wonderful atmosphere. Hi everybody, my name is Hank Treba, second vice district governor and past president of the Harupa District Lions Club. We are part of the largest service organization in the world, where we have over 70 members who volunteer at our service projects to benefit the community of Harupa Valley. We believe in making our community a better place to live. Lions have been providing scholarship to Harup in Harupa Valley for a very long time. We donate to many charities in the area of vision, cancer, hunger, diabetes, and environment. Lions International motto is we serve, and we serve here at Harupa Valley. Thank you. The people are very kind. The people listen, the people uh, help each other. I love meeting people every single day um, that are passionate about our community and creating change. Hi, my name is Josie Gaitan and I'm the director here at Reach Out. Hi, my name is Natalie Rocha and I'm a program manager here at Reach Out. We do a lot of different things in our community, such as murals, community gardens, uh, small business summit, we have done uh, change policy. Everything that we've done is because community members want to help us do that change or they want to make that change in their community. We do encourage everyone to get involved, um, join our collaborative meetings, which are the first Tuesdays of every month, and get involved with the work that we're doing, create a change for your community that speaks to you, and um, we hope to see you at our next meeting. Harupa Valley Community Pride means uh, flexibility, dedication to service, and a true desire to serve the community as a whole. Hi, my name is Casey Jackson. I'm interim CEO for Path of Life Ministries. Path of Life is a homeless services organization. We offer employment services, outreach services. Um, Harupa Valley also provides homeless prevention dollars that we help to distribute and we also provide a couple of different types of shelters. One is our crisis stabilization units and then also our emergency shelter here in the city of Riverside. A lot of my interaction is with the city council and they really do care about serving their community. They care about every person and their needs and they genuinely want to find solutions that um, meet the needs of their community. They've made it so easy to work with them and um, we just really appreciate their relationship. As the fire department here in Harupa Valley, we're extremely proud to be part of the entire city, the overall process of public service. It takes all of us, fire, law, city staff, local, federal, and state agencies, all working together to provide a high level of public service. Hi, my name is Jeff Ike, Deputy Chief with Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department, proudly serving the city of Harupa Valley and surrounding cities. Hello. My name is Jake Lorenz. I'm a fire captain with Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department, proudly serving Harupa Valley. Well, one of the ways we've shown our pride to the community is during this pandemic, we wanted to give back. So our battalion chiefs approached us and said, hey, maybe we should do some birthday drive-bys for the kids in the community. The pandemic is out of their hands. They're unable to visit with their friends. We and other uh, members of their family would actually caravan past their house and honk our horns. We'd have the sirens blaring in the background, of course, and just gave them uh, a good wave and a nice smile. <laughs> and just let them know that, hey, happy birthday on, on your day, and we care. We're here for you. Hi, my name is Hank Treba, Vice President of the Rubido Community Services District. I'm John Skirbelis, President of the Board of Directors for Rubido Community Services District. Since 1952, Rubido Community Services District has been providing customers with a variety of services in the Harupa Valley community, including water, wastewater, fire protection, trash collection, street lighting, and weed abatement. Over the past year, the district has invested over $5 million on new water treatment systems to ensure potable water is delivered to our customers to meet all state division of drinking water requirements. An example of recent investment by the district is the Zion Exchange Treatment Center, the Leland Thompson Center, installed to remove PFAS contaminants to below non-detect. It gives me great pride that the district was able to make this investment with district reserves and save money throughout the years. You're all welcome to participate at our board of director meetings in person or via Zoom the first and third Thursday of each month at 4 p.m. You can also visit our website for information related to all that we do. I want to thank you. 
Hi, I'm Karen Spiegel, Riverside County Board of Supervisors. I've had the unique opportunity to watch Harupa Valley grow. More than a decade ago, I was around in a sister city in Corona, and I was there with the founding members and attending some of the league things and working with the city council as much as Corona could help partner with the new city. And then as we grew and Harupa Valley grew, I went on uh, just recently, three years ago, to the Board of Supervisors, so I've had a different capacity. But to have the ability to watch all the growth that your community has done has been incredible. The ups and downs and riding that roller coaster, and now 10 years celebrating the achievement and how you have developed in a prospering city with such a future. The ability to lay the groundwork for future. And you know, not many cities even do that as they get older. And so I have to give a lot of kudos, but it really focuses on that community pride, that Harupa Valley pride that continues to flourish. No matter what's going on, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you have come through it, you have succeeded, and what's really exciting is watching how you're gonna go into the future. I know there's great things coming for Harupa Valley, and I look forward to being there with you and cheering you on. Hi, I'm Dr. Trenton Hansen, and it is my honor to serve as superintendent for the Harupa Unified School District. I have served the Harupa school community for my entire career as an educator almost 20 years. This community is a special one. We share a sense of belonging and family here that truly sets us apart. The Harupa Valley community is a service-oriented community where people join together in a common goal to make our neighborhoods, our parks, our schools, and our world a better place. An example of community pride can be found in our teachers who work hard every day, not just to teach our students, but to inspire them to be more than they thought possible. I see it in the dedication of our classified staff who go above and beyond to ensure our schools are safe, clean and prepared so that students can learn. I see it in our students and staff who gladly took on our kindness challenge with projects like sock drives to help those in need. I see it in our parents who donate their time to help our schools. And I see it in the exuberant crowds at our Friday night football games and a chance for our community to come together and celebrate who we are. A family that cares for one another, looks out for one another, and wants only the best for one another. The greatest service Rupa Unified School District provides this community is educating over 18,000 students. And we empower each child to unlock their potential to succeed in career, in school, and in life. We know that our students need support to help them reach their full potential and we provide that assistance. We serve nutritious meals at no cost to every child. We offer after school care and enrichment programs and support and resources for families, tutoring, counseling, and many other services that support the whole child and their educational experience. Children's rights activist Marion Wright Edelman stated, Education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and world better than you found it. In the Harupa Unified School District, we strive to make our community better each and every day. I am proud to be part of a team that believes all of our children should be learning without limits so that they can achieve without limits for themselves and their community. Hello, Harupa Valley. I am Assemblymember Sabrina Cervantes, representing the 60th Assembly District, which includes the city of Harupa Valley. This year, we marked a milestone, 10 years of incorporation as California's youngest city. A lot has happened in only 10 years. Roads are being repaired, new parks are being built, and every day the city of Harupa Valley is striving toward being an even better place for our neighbors to live, work, and play. I am proud to represent a community with a rich history from the native Tongva and Serrano people who first called this area home, to the ranchers, citrus growers, and farm workers who settled in this area, and to the families who chose Harupa Valley as a place to live and watch their children grow up. There is so much to be proud of in a city where people come from all walks of life to support each other and to build a shared community. I know this is a community of communities, has a bright future ahead. Congratulations. We definitely have a pride in re representing Harupa Valley for its animal control needs, uh, sheltering needs. We have a big pride in Harupa Valley because we are right here in the city and 
We have this beautiful facility for our stray pets. And of course, many uh, folks come, for, come in from Harupa Valley to adopt. So we, uh, we love Harupa Valley. We love its residents and it's, uh, it's fun to be part of the Harupa Valley family. Hi, my name is John Welsh. I work here at Riverside County Animal Services as the public information officer. Uh, one of the really exciting uh, nuggets for the community to know about Harupa Valley is pet owners in Harupa Valley, specifically dog owners, uh, have been known to be the most compliant when it comes to dog licensing. Uh, getting a dog license is state law. And so uh, beyond all the other cities in, our, in Riverside County, Harupa Valley residents are some of the most compliant when it comes to dog licensing. So we thank you. It shows a great spirit and uh, being responsible pet owners and Harupa Valley residents should take pride in that, that there are a lot of dog owners, they go get their dog license. You know, these last 18 months have been rough for everybody. And I think uh, one of the things I'm most proud of is when people were limited on access and places they could go, they took uh, solitude in coming to the parks. Uh, our parks never closed. They were always open to the public. And I think it provided um, therapy for people. So being able to help, help support the community in that way, you know, has brought a lot of pride to the district and our staff. Our staff uh, really does take pride in the job they do and the facilities they provide to the residents of Harupa Valley. Hi, my name is Colby DeGuid. I'm the general manager for the Harupa Area Recreation and Park District. So we provide park and recreation services to the city of Harupa Valley. Uh, we have 28 parks here in the city of Harupa Valley, um, from small pocket parks to large equestrian facilities to state-of-the-art uh, recreation facilities. The Sheriff's Department motto um, is service above self. Every day our deputy sheriffs look to uh, demonstrate that to the communities that we serve. and. What that means, service above self, is really showing the community what we can do for them and how we can protect them, how we can better their daily life over what we would do for ourselves. Hi, my name is Lieutenant Jason Sexton and I am the new police chief for the city of Harupa Valley. What I'm really looking forward to as uh, serving the city of Harupa Valley as your new police chief is to find out what, what quality of life issues uh, are you experiencing and how can we improve upon that as the Sheriff's Department. I wanna find out what little things, what little improvements we can do on our end to make every day better for you. I'm thrilled to be your new police chief and I'm looking forward to understanding our community's pride and making that pride grow. So what does pride mean to you and what does it mean for you to love your city. It's a great community, everybody gets along. We're very safe by the first responders who are here to help us. Um, in Hoopa Valley, there's a huge group of people who stick together and who are nice to each other through and through. Well, to me, pride is appreciating something and appreciating the people who make that thing work. So, what is your most favorite thing to do in Hoopa Valley? I like to do a lot of things. Is play handball with my friend Marcus and Eli. Is to play at school. I like to hang out at the park, walking around at the park. Like activities like handball. I find a lot of interesting things here. Tether ball, soccer ball. Uh, the, what was the question again? Because there's a lot of interesting places to go. Basketball, anything at school is I like hanging out with my friends, going on the bikes, and going out to the park to spend time with my family and all my friends. What makes you so happy about living in Harupa Valley? All the people. The people, my friends. I like the community and the people. I go to the parks and play with my sister. Mm -hmm. I like all the weather and trees and, and how there's a bunch of parks and all the Colors. Harupa Valley is made is made up of courage and love, and it's always it's always caring about people and the community here. And the spirit is like a level ten for the spirit. In the community, a lot of people are here to um, a lot of people are here in the community to help everybody learn and get up get up and the teachers here are doing a really good job.